Warning, this video may contain flashing images. If you can't handle that, I'm so sorry. All right, I hope you understand what I want here. I want the hot tub to be placed on the platform behind the house, and I want that baby filled, you hear me? Understood, sir. Is there anything else you want me to do, sir? Sir? I'll, um... I'll call you back later. What? I said I'll call you back later! Lord of the fucking rings! What can I tell you about it that you don't already know? It's so goddamn huge that I don't even know how to put it in words, it's that big. I can ramble about how much the Lord of the Rings has impacted our world with its holy bible of fantasy storytelling, but we got a whole video ahead of us talking about it, so, uh, well, sort of. And when the movies came out, it blew up even more, becoming one of the greatest movie trilogies of all time. And of course, in the video game industry, it's to be expected that there will be some video game adaptations. We got the Return of the King game, we got the Battle for Middle Earth games, and a whole bunch of other games. But for this video, we got something very special. And that is... The Fellowship of the Ring game. Now, this game came out about a year after the first movie was released in theaters. But, here's the catch. This game is based on the book. Not the movie. So just to let you guys know, I have not read the books, but I've seen the movies multiple times, so just keep that in mind. But even so, is this game any good? It's not. Yeah, this game is not that good. But, you wanna take a look? You wanna take a look? I'm fucking take. The game was developed by Surreal Software, who later on would create the well-received horror game The Suffering, and then eventually merge into Monolith, the minds behind Fear, and then another Lord of the Rings game, Shadow of Mordor. The game starts off with Galadriel telling the prologue of the story, skipping some major details, and when all of that is over, it cuts to Frodo and Gandalf talking about what they should do with the ring. And I have to say, these guys seem to not care about what they're talking about. No! No! So basically, Frodo decides to guard the ring, and Gandalf grabs Sam from the window, and holy crap, this screen is dark. Let me just fix that, and we're good. Now let's play the game! Oh. Oh. <laughs> these, these controls... This is something. Look at this rock throw animation! He's like... <laughs> I just started this and I can already imagine all the fun shit that's gonna happen as I play this. This is just the beginning and I'm already lost. I'm supposed to find the key and the deed to bag in, but I just can't. I just I just can't, you guys. But somehow I finally found what I had to find and I'm now outside and here is Sam. Good morning to you, Mr. Frodo. Good morning, Sam. All ready to set out for Buckland? Already? Or will be as soon as I tend to bag in? Ah, what a lovely conversation, Skip. I found pigs! Pigs! Throw rocks at them! Yeah! Animal cruelty! What's this little bastard doing? What are you giggling for? I'm throwing rocks at you! So in the beginning you can complete a bunch of quests which are given to you by your hobbit neighbors. You don't have to, and I recommend that you don't, because this game is pretty shite. Wait, am, am I- am I seeing correctly? These are- these are llamas! They're straight up llamas! I'm sorry, but llamas is the last freaking animal that I would think of when someone mentions the Lord of the fucking Rings! Llamas! <laughs> 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 
Okay, I better continue on with the game because I'm already losing my mind. So you have to take the deed to Lobelia Sackville Baggins and finally sell Bag End to her. And once that's done, you have to head back to Bag End. But before we do that, here's an old guy playing chess with himself. Without any pieces. Enough of the unnecessary bullshit. Let's just continue. The, the freaking llamas! They're here too! Stop haunting me! Beware of llamas! So once you've grabbed the ring, it's finally night time, and that's when the ring raids show up. So what happens now is probably the most frustrating and hardest part of the game, escaping the ring raids. And with these controls, you're gonna need a lot of luck. But before I can even do anything, I got caught! The Dark Rider has caught you. The One Ring has been taken and returned to its creator Sauron. Your quest has failed. Something really worth mentioning is that whenever you die, you get kicked to the title screen of the game, meaning that you'll have to start from the last save. But here's the thing, there are no save points or automatic save points in this game. You will have to save your progress whenever you want to. Basically, the way you save in this game is kinda like save states in emulators. So if I hadn't saved before this, I would have been forced to play from the very beginning of the game. And what do I have to say to that? Fuck that! In order to succeed in escaping the ring wraiths, you need to throw rocks at places to distract them, so you can pass the roads and then eventually leave the Shire. But this is freaking stupid, I don't even know where those bastards are! This is scary as hell! I don't even know if I'm going the right way! Wolf attack! Whack it! Whack it with a stick! Yeah! Whack! Yeah! Your purity has increased. What the hell does that mean? Did you beat the living shit out of a wolf? That makes you pure? What? Ah! More wolves! Come at me, you cats! Come at me! <laughs> Shh! He's right beside me. And I'm scared. I somehow managed to escape the ring raid. So, we meet up with Sam, Mary, and Pippin, and now the real quest begins. But first, we have to find them after they get lost in the forest. This is going to be fun. This is spiders! Take it! I won. The combat in this game does not really feel too good, it's really clunky and sometimes when you swing your stick or whatever, you don't even hit the enemy. It's a little thing that I would like to call the wait a short while to attack because this game is pretty broken thing. And now we're fighting a tree. Ouch. Oh look, I found Tom Bombadil. Look at him taking a dandy ass stroll. <laughs> Silly man. The main quest pretty much only consists of you having to collect a bunch of shit or clear the road of enemies, and by the looks of it, having to find the other hobbits because guess what? It happened again. Where are you? Ghosts! D -d Whack him! You know, for a while I completely forgot that this was a Lord of the Rings game. Seeing this ring icon on the top was pretty much the only thing that kept reminding me. I managed to find the other hobbits and I'm now encountering what I think is the first boss fight. Some undead dude who keeps barfing on you. But hey, I found a dagger. So the hobbits make it to Bree and checks in at the Prancing Pony, where the innkeeper has a constant raised eyebrow. In a merry old inn beneath an old grey hill. And that they make us do so brown that the man in the moon himself flew down at night to eat his fill. Uh, uh, oh. Where did he go? Sorcery! Bah. Conjurer's trick, that's all. I am drunk. Hello. Who are you? Uh, what do you want? Seem to be coming to your senses again after your accident. Begging your pardon, I need a word. Everyone in this place needs a word. <laughs> the way he just said that was just... <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. I am Aragorn, son of Wait, Arathorn. that's Aragorn? He looks like a freaking combination of Daniel Craig and Tarzan. We get to play as him as well, and controlling him feels way better than Frodo. Ah, you know what, I take that back, it's still crap. This is the part where Aragorn has to find, surprise, Merry, who's gotten lost again, and then you'll have to find different objects scattered around the town of Bree, and they are to be used as the fake hobbits when the ring wraiths come to stab them in the gut. So after all that jazz, the gang is about to leave for Rivendell. I should have known! More shortcuts and long delays! The last time we tried that, we were almost eaten by a tree! My shortcuts don't go wrong. Confidence! I like that in a man. I've pretty much experienced everything that needs to be experienced in this game. It's really repetitive and dull. We're close to the last arc of this game and nothing has changed aside from me playing as Aragorn. You're simply running a path, taking down enemies, having no idea where to go because this game explains it kinda poorly. It's a mess of nothing. Yeah, a mess of nothing. 
So up on Weathertop, Frodo gets stabbed like the idiot he is, and you'll have to fight off the ring rates for a certain amount of time. Oops. Just clearing the roads is pretty much all you get to do with. So we finally arrived in Rivendell, and thus the Council of Elrond begins, and people just don't seem to care enough. The cutscenes especially just seem like whatever, there is no personality whatsoever. It's kind of like when a child puts down some action figures in a circle and play pretend with them. That's what these guys are. Lifeless action figures. Your purity has increased- Fucking stop saying that! Oh, damn. Now, now we're playing as Gandalf. I wonder what he can do. Whoa! He's awesome! Fire! Lightning! BAM! Yeah, it's a no-brainer that Gandalf is the most fun to play as in this game, but that doesn't mean that it controls better. It's still pretty shit, but there is a little more variety to his attacks, so I guess that's acceptable. Just clearing the path through the entrance to Moria, so you're basically doing the same shit as before. As the Fellowship is outside the entrance, the Watcher in the Water attacks our heroes. You can just stand on the side spamming arrows at it and you'll win. That was hard. We're inside Moria, as you can see, and I don't know where the fuck I'm going. This whole goddamn place is a freaking maze. <coughs> Gimli! Move! Navigating through the mines is pretty damn annoying. Every room looks the same, and like I mentioned earlier, this game doesn't really explain well enough for you to understand what you have to do in order to progress. Oh great, I'm Frodo again. Yay, run away. But luckily that was short-lived, because now it's time to fight the Balrog. He's a lot smaller than I remember. Ow! 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 Okay, what if I block it? Ow! He's stunned! Attack him! Welp! Gandalf is dead! The Fellowship enters Little Florian, which is just a giant in-game cutscene, so... Let's skip this. The Fellowship now enters Anduin, and surprise surprise, more killing shit! I've pretty much already showed you the whole game as a... well... whole, so let me just show you the last boss. Which is a Nazgul at Amon Hen! He's so freaking happy! And now he's dead. So, that's the Fellowship of the Ring for the PS2. Is it really that bad? E yeah, it's really repetitive, buggy, glitchy, and just downright frustrating. I would say stay away from this game. I got this game for about two bucks back in the PS2 era, and I understand why it was two bucks. It's really bad. Harmless? Yeah, but still pretty bad. I'm Dex the Swede, signing out, thank you for watching. <laughs> the Llamas. What's up, people? How are you today? <coughs> like always, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe as well. Wanna keep track of what I'm doing with my dumb life and this dumb show? Then I highly suggest that you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, as I'll be posting news, updates, and other random shit. I also got a Twitch channel that I use for streaming stuff, so if you'd like to see that, then go ahead and follow it. Okay, see you later, bye! And, mm, <laughs> and of course, in the video game industry, it's too big.